Hey, it's Buckstar with me, Spikers here. I'm doing another video in this video. This is a um, beast video, meaning I take the ideas and just jot them down. This, these are actually from my family members: my father, my sister, myself, and my little brother. And I, these are all in the same universe as my Demos and all that. I've changed the voice from my regular voice to a. One that sounds like this because it sounds like someone who doesn't really give a crap. Hope y'all enjoy. Okay, this first one we're gonna look at. Ugh, it's an ugly motherfucker. Its name is. <clears throat> Sorry. This thing's full name is something like. Gore Prangon Nakili El Avadella Octop. Tatious Puss Mantis, but it's most commonly known as the multi lent healing stone Nekel Evgon. This thing's ugly. Um, it has the ability to tra teleport, which is not very really good, but then it has a very, very, very fast healing factor. Like if you were to chop off its back, one of its back legs, five about a second later, the thing's already back within muscles. Yeesh. Give it two seconds. Give it another second to fully regrow the skin. The thing has mantis-like um hands. And has has part gorgon, which is a really rad thing. When we count the snakes on its head, and if you look at them in the eyes, you turn to stone. You dead. And then the weird ones. The tentacles on its arm. Yeah. How things wrap around you. They also cause your eyes to open up in order for you to turn to stone. Then there's the mantis head. Yeah. Those things have a bite force of about... That's enough to break through most steel. Uh, but get yourself a titanium alloy. They can't break through that stuff, but still, that stuff is expensive here. Also, whenever it's teleporting, you always see a black mist or like connecting it opens up, up around the head that head part disappears and then it just teleports wherever it's going if you from what I've heard if you manage to cut the cut the line with some type of blade I think it's like a light blade the thing's limbs just fall off and they don't heal back thanks only eyes are in snake head snake eyes and the um the eyes on the mantis head. And also has a weirdly blue tail. Meh. It's ugly. Also, the praying mantis arms are like metal. Get yourself, well, get your hands on that stuff. And you can make a pretty decent weapon. <sighs> All around, the thing's ugly, strong, and not to mention part demon, which will explain the increased healing factor. Over round the thing is a ugly mother fricker. Now this next one we're looking at is actually a uh, little pleasant looking. It's known as the Dragware Gone Wolf, Floating Rhino Hawk Beast, or the most common name, the Dwarf Wolf. Yon Hawk Beast. The thing has armor platings on its ar arms and legs and torso that was like look like rhino skin. Plus a horn on, t on the top. It looks like a um the body is mostly like of a is mostly that of a werewolf. The um wings look like the first set of wings on top look like um hawk look like dragon wings. They also have some. They both each have a long piece of rhino armor on them. Then there's the second pair. These help with um, the flying. But the thing is, the thing is so heavy because of the armor. It has its uh, one magical ability to propel objects away from it. It's mostly using that in the liftoff. Once it gets high enough, the dragon wings are strong enough to actually keep it airborne. Which I'm surprised because the thing weighs over a ton. That armor alone. Overall, the, weight, the whole thing weighs about three tons. 
The tail also is covered in armor. It's a dragon tail. The feet, the claws on its hands are very sharp, which I heard are sharp enough to do some decent damage to the last beast we'll look at. Ugh, that thing's ugly. And the feet also look like rhinos, but it has three claws on each foot. Also, just like a canine's let back legs, these legs are slanted down. Which, trust me, it's not even a good RPG to the, um, one of the pieces are not really gonna put a scratch on it. You're gonna need something more of a submachine gun. I don't understand why that is. Just do something with the bullets being able to go through them, not exploding on impact. So, I don't know, it just doesn't really make any sense. But these things do make some good armor. I've heard of one instance of them being tamed. But, ugh, ugh. Matter if you gave the thing rabies. Foaming at the mouth of a creature this size, about three meters in height. Ugh, the thing is strong. It can lift a full eye semi. Semi. Ugh, you think these things are around London and America? Last creature we looked at, you only find them like Scotland and the Europeans. Still, this one is a far better creature to look at and just be around because the thing is kind of protective of humans. The third beastie we're looking at is something that is quite simple compared to the last two. This thing is a simple werewolf with razor sharp claws and um, deer horns and bat wings. Not to mention the thing's actually part vampire. The thing is, it's like a weird thing. Like a vampire, you can actually go invisible. The bat wings are because of the shape-shifting ability. The thing is so big, it can't really shape-shift into the, the bat. So nature decided, like, you know what, frick it. Just give that bat wings. And trust me, this thing... Might appear ugly, but ugh, it actually just like your regular vampire bat feeds on livestock, just bigger livestock. Something like the giant horses we have around here. Not to mention, it can also go invisible, like I said. The things are very fast and very intelligent. They're about as intelligent as your average adult male or female. The average adult human, anyways. They're still very dangerous. You piss one of these things off, their entire hive is going after you. Like bass, they live in hives. Lives in big groups, I mean. You piss one off, you're gonna get entire about a couple hundred after these things after you. Like a vampire or werewolf, the like a fantasy or something like that. The the thing the transformation is not just more genetic at parent times, but then there's the not so pure blood versions. Those guys are something called half. Whatever these things are. The full name is Camo Ware Van Wolf Pyre. The simple name is the most common one is Invisa Ware Pyre. The thing is a weird creature. The deer in there. Actually, correction. It's actually known as the Camo Ware. Bam, wolf pyre deer. Actually, ah, forget it. I'm just gonna call the thing camo wear deer vam wolf pyre. Or invis deer wear pyre. Yeah, that works better for it. I'm gonna have to change my some things in my books. Ugh, this thing is just pretty awesome, to be honest. Still incredibly deadly, but still actually one of them nicest things around here. Ugh. Okay, the la okay, the last beastie we're looking at is a dragon actually. It's part golem too. It's interesting. And it's interesting by my standards on the cup of thing has a very, very, very fast healing factor. And the thing is, remind me of the hero Wolverine. 
reason why is because of the color scheme on the guy. The color scheme is like his top of his costume. Um, and on the arms. It has that standard yellow part to it. And it has his claws. Um, let's see. It is known as the Clawed Laser Eye. Rai scored no peon, part dragon, part golem. The thing is aggressive. Really aggressive. The front part is the dragon. The back end is the golem like part. And then the top part is actually a biological stinker from a scorpion. The laser eyes are just a defense mechanism. Since it's not really known to breathe fire, it as laser eyes for, for, for crying out loud. The um, claws are very sharp. It also have, Weasley has a, a biometal skeleton. There are old fossils we have discovered and the metal skeleton is still intact somewhat. Surprised some things haven't come back from the dead on the count of these things can live for over for most reported over a million years. At least old the youngest die around about two thousand years old still. The things are freaking old. It actually has a blue part which is most thought of being a like, um, ear. It's more or less just a horn. Just a little facial growth. The actual horn on the thing is actually from the from a rhino. It's like a rhino like part. It's we have cartilage like our our fingernails and hair. It's right smacked up above his eye on top of his head. The thing while aggressive is you know to also protect humans. Weirdly enough it is extremely strong. Everything about it is superhuman by dragon standards that is. Still, it is impressive. I've actually even managed to find one of these creatures on the count. They're so hard to find on the count. They live in Canada, for crying out loud. In K's, actually. Weirdly enough. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Well, subscribe to the Drone Spikes channel. Goodbye, and peace out.